Room service, madame. Oh, thanks, but uh, Ron gave me this tuna presentation to do, and I'm really way behind. Well, you gotta eat something, honey. Well, if I wanted something to eat, Jack, I would have come down and had something to eat with you and your girlfriends. All right. Let's get into it. Get into what, Jack? Get into this. The house is a mess, Jack. The kids are a mess, Jack. You're a mess, Jack. I leave anything else out? Want to talk about the beer? All right. The beard's in its transitional stage right now, that's all. When it comes in, it's gonna look great. And it's gonna look like a movie star, uh, what's his name? Orson Welles? No, I'm... Oh, Orson Welles. <laughs> oh, I get it, fat jokes, right? That's real uh, funny. Yeah, I put on a couple of pounds. So what? Come on, what else do you have? You wanna talk about this shirt for a second, Jack? All right. You've been wearing this shirt around the house for about two weeks now. It can walk around by itself. Why don't you retire that thing to the Dry Cleaning Hall of Fame, huh? Because it's a comfortable shirt. Jack, take a look at yourself. You've really thrown in the towel, honey. My brain is like oatmeal. I yelled at Kenny today for coloring outside the lines. Megan and I are starting to watch the same TV shows, and I'm liking them. I'm losing it. Honey, I know what you're talking about. I've been there myself, all right? Well, if you were so unhappy, why didn't you say something about it? Because I wasn't unhappy. Look, maybe I was a little confused, maybe I was a little frustrated, mm -hmm. but I knew what I was doing was important because it means something to raise decent human beings. And what saw me through was pride. I had pride in this house, I had pride in my kids, and I had pride in being Mrs. Jack Butler. Where are you going? I'm going downstairs and sleep on the fat couch if I can get through the door. You'll be sure and take pride in some of that fat. Porky!